All right, y'all, good morning. Hello, hello. It's like afternoon at this point. So, <laughs> I'm, well, I guess I'll say good morning a little later. Doing my makeup, getting ready for the day because I really thought I was gonna do my makeup a lot on vacation and I didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm getting my face all week. This whole weekend, I didn't. It was so hot in Mexico, y'all. I, I really couldn't be bothered. I think I did my makeup like once or twice at night and like left it at that. I probably did my eyebrows the most. Like just touched up my brows a little bit, put on a little highlighter and went on about my business. Um, but we're back and oh my gosh, you guys, I needed that little pressure. I don't, it's like I was just telling my sister like I didn't realize that I needed a vacation until I got on vacation, I was like, oh my God, what have I been missing? Like, why have I been doing this to myself? I literally spend so much, like, unnecessary money on just small things. And I'm like, this is where I really should be putting my money. Because, <laughs> baby, that vacation just reset my life a little bit. So, we're back and I'm already mentally planning a vacation for the end of the year like where are we going next like it's, it's time to do something else um but yeah it was super good we went to mexico and uh we started in playa de carmen then we went to cancun um then where did we go we we're kind of like all around quintana Roo. um then we went to isla mujeres then we went to cozumel and then we finished back at uh playa de carmen so it was a pretty fun trip. We went there for like seven days. We were gone for seven days and we spent part of that like celebrating my brother's birthday, which is awesome. We um, spent half of the vacation with my brother for his birthday, celebrating him. He turned 30. He's an old man out here in these streets. So went to go celebrate him. Came back um, to, where do we end up going? Hold on, let me change my foundation. All my colors are different now because your girl got a tan. I got a tan. Not too bad. I had to like switch to my summer colors because as you guys can see, <laughs> I got a little color. <laughs> got a little tan tan because I'm a water baby and I'm a sun baby and um, I was about to be out there, okay? When it comes to a tan, when it comes to the sun, I'm going to have it, okay? So, I was in the air, either in the air in the sun, <laughs> or like we went zip lining and stuff, or I was on the ground, or I was on the beach, like pretty much anywhere I could get all the sun, that's where I was. So, I just got a little, a little bit of a tan, you know, I kind of turned a little deep chocolate bronze chocolate like which I love so basically I'm just converting a lot of my makeup over to my summer colors but luckily this NARS Marquises is what I bought right before I left this radiant foundation she's a banger the light reflecting foundation okay not radiant light reflecting foundation I actually got it in Marquises um but my number color is Macau so that worked out perfectly it looks really good on my skin right now um but yeah so we just bounced around celebrated my brother and then once they were gone then we did like a honeymoon so i don't know if you guys remember me saying or if you've been around on this vlog long enough but um hubby and I, dang y'all none of my i'm out of all my brow products how um that when we got married y'all we were not rich I had just gotten a new job and it was like a pretty big pay increase. It was pretty surprising. Oh, not surprising, but exciting. <laughs> um, but, you know, the front end of your marriage, like you're just figuring out everything. We had just paid for the wedding. Um, and Brandon was building an entire like new gym. So we didn't have the finances to be like out here going on vacation. So, um, and then we also were in the process of like doing missionary work. So we had to decide between going on a honeymoon or going on a mission trip. And we really, really had been invested in like doing this mission work. So we chose the mission trip over a honeymoon, which, um, 
turned out to be great the mission trip was wonderful and life-changing and something that i will continue to support um even if we can't physically go like we still support um other people because missions is so important off topic and has nothing to do with this but anyway we couldn't afford to do both so we decided to just do the mission trip and skip out on the honeymoon so um you guys know we've done like plenty of little staycations we've like gone on like little mini trips here but we've never done a honeymoon and everybody was like really grilling us about it i really don't know why i don't know why i'm like honeymoon or not baby marriages fail okay it don't matter um so anyway we decided since we we're already in mexico and um you know we're entrepreneurs and we just have a lot more free time on our hands we should just go ahead and just extend it and do a honeymoon so that's what we did um so we ended up doing our honeymoon in cozumel which was a blessing and a curse so cozumel was gorgeous beautiful little town but um if you know anything about mexico it's like it's full of um like it's huge on tourism so there's lots of people out there trying to hit up the tourists so it's just a lot that you kind of have to watch out for because people are always trying to sell you stuff and like that was kind of um the most frustrating part was like just feeling like you're getting like played or jacked or manipulated y'all like, y'all we were at this tequila place and they straight jacked us and I'm still really annoyed by it. But they were like, oh, it's authentic tequila, ma, 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 you should taste it. Y'all, that was the most watered down alcohol I've ever had in my life. They jacked us for a lot of money and it the product wasn't what we taste. It was just annoying. So there's lots of like little scams going on and stuff like that. But I got back home, I called my bank, I was like, it ain't what they said it was and the bank was like cool i'm gonna give you money back so we appreciate good banking for that for these reasons um but yeah other than that it was really really nice and it was great to just get a break and we um we stayed on resorts the whole time um but when we got off the resorts it's kind of like where we hit like some of those like little scammy things um but the resorts as a whole were like i think just more of like a comfort like i think if you've never been to another country, then um, the resort is probably the best way to go at first. Just so you can like feel more secure. And then once you get off, then you can like try new things and you can feel a little more comfortable. So that's actually what we did. And we did end up getting um, off a little more. And we felt a lot more comfortable with like the next time we go. Like just staying in like just a regular hotel versus staying in a... Um, versus staying in a resort because let me tell y'all something the resort food is disgusting <laughs> the resort food is nasty the drinks were nasty the desserts were nasty. when i tell y'all i didn't have a single thing and mind y'all we stayed on two resorts overall the trip was great i'm glad that we like bounced around and like tried different things and like try different islands it i think it just makes you more comfortable with like doing more as you go and like obviously you don't have to do as much as we did but like i wanted to be comfortable with traveling i wanted to be comfortable with um you know not having to stay on a resort so i really wanted us to like get the experience of like just getting off and moving around a little bit just to see if it was like something we would be interested in doing and we both agreed like getting off the island or just getting off the resort in general and like seeing the actual city and stuff and like getting away from the touristy parts obviously staying like in a safe area but getting away from the like really heavy touristy parts is like where the actual culture the actual food and the people like really are and that's like that's where we want it to be so um yeah overall the trip was really fun except you guys I came back with a little situation. <laughs> I was so nervous that I got COVID, y'all, because I just started having these issues um, while we were there. Like I told you guys, we hop from resort to resort. And I always get heat rash because my skin is super skin sensitive, so I knew that. But when we got to our second resort, I started noticing these, like, large bumps on my arm. And my husband was like, oh, that's, like, it's turned into, like, from heat rash to, what did he think it was? He thought it was, like, a... I don't know something else 
But I was like, I don't think that's it. Like, I think they're bites, you guys. I have bites. I'm going to pop in a picture, but just huge bites going down my arm. Like, huge from my hands down my arms. Then the bites started showing up on my back. Then they started showing up on my feet. Then they started showing up on my face. And I was like, what is going on? And they itched. You guys, the itch was so bad. The itch was so bad. And I'm like, what is going on? So I really couldn't tell. But we went and got our COVID test. And I obviously am COVID free because I'm back home. Um, but I still just had these large bumps that like itch really bad. And in Mexico, a lot of the medicine that we have to pay for over the counter, like we have to go to the doctor, get a prescription, pay for it over the counter. They just have in what's called a drug store or like a convenience store type thing. So I was in the convenience store and I was like, I saw prednisone and I've taken prednisone. I don't know how many times because as I told you guys, I have really sensitive skin and I'll always end up with like a rash or like um, getting bit by bugs. And when I get bit, like especially by certain mosquitoes, you guys, like my skin just swells. Like I'm so allergic to mosquito bumps. So the doctors have prescribed me prednisone more than a little bit. And I saw that on the counter and I was like, y'all got prednisone over the counter? And they had like red nay over the counter and like just a bunch of stuff. And I was like, oh my God, should I buy this? <laughs> should I buy this? But I ended up buying prednisone over the counter and I just started taking it because I knew that that's what I had taken before. And I was like, Lord, let's... <laughs> it's okay. We're just going to pray. It's okay. So I started taking prednisone before we had even left, which turned out to be great because once we got back, I saw a doctor. My doctor thinks that it is either lice, bed bugs. Sea bugs, what did she say? Sea, sea mites, oak mites, like tree mites. She really couldn't narrow it down, but she strongly thinks it's, it was like bed bug bites. And I was like, oh my God. Like, you guys, they're so, my skin, like, notice I'm wearing long sleeves. I've been wearing long sleeves for a minute just because I just like, I feel so gross. Um, But yeah, so she gave me a ton of medications. So I'm taking like... Two regular um, ointments and then I have an over-counter prednisone that she prescribed me. So I'm doing all of this due to probably bed bugs at one of these resorts, which sucks. Alright y'all, I've got interrupted more than a little bit. Say hi Bentley. You guys look how big my little baby is. He's not a baby no more. Um, I just finished my makeup. I did... Um, my basic face, I use my bronzer for my eyes, just like a basic natural, because we're going out to dinner with our family tonight. We're gonna do an appreciation dinner for uh, my mother and father-in-law because they be helping us out. I don't know what we're gonna do when we move besides either do it ourselves or hire somebody, but <laughs> they, my uh, father-in-law came and stayed with uh, PJ while we were gone. Bentley went to a friend's house. They have like other dogs and we wanted him to get socialized, so. Bentley went to a friend's house, but PJ stayed here and my father-in-law came and stayed here with him for the whole week. And then um, the day that we got back or the day after we got back, my mother and father-in-law came over and like cleaned up our house and like helped us fold clothes and stuff and like get organized. But like they basically spent the afternoon with us like trying to get like readjusted. They had the day off or happened to have the day off and it was a snow day and they wanted to see us and so they just came and helped. So... We just want to say thank you because we always appreciate them. I mean, we always, you know, give them a little something, something to say thank you. But we want to do like a nice dinner because they really do be coming through for us. And as y'all know, I'm really trying to live this soft life. I will hire somebody so quick. Y'all, when I came home and saw, we had already had a bunch of clothes that I washed and told Brandon to fold before we left that did not happen. But then we got home with a bunch of stuff and then there was just stuff. And I was like. Who's, who's doing this? Like, I knew I wasn't. I called our um, girl that normally cleans her house, but she wasn't available till later. So, uh, in-laws to the rescue, and they do every single time. So, we're going to do something nice for them tonight. We're going to go to dinner. That's why I did a little shum shum to my face. Um, but, anyway, back to my skin. I'm recovering. I'll show you guys pictures as I recover. But right now, this is kind of where I'm at. You guys, look how bad that it, like... Those freaking bugs messed me up. Like, so we're recovering, but this is this is recovery mode right now. 
So basically I'm wearing long sleeves everywhere. So <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on our trip. We did have a lot of fun and uh, hopefully you guys are seeing all of our little photos there. It was great to just like get away and get a break and to have the ability to do that. Like I was just thinking, I was like, I took a seven day vacation and at my last job, I literally had seven days of vacay for the whole year. <laughs> so God is good. We moving on up. God is great. Um, I'm blessed. Came back. Um, unfortunately, we were in the air when we heard about the news of Russia. And I'm just like, whoo, child. It's, if it ain't one thing, it's another. But we're, we're praying for them because that's terrible. Terrible. I just... I'll never understand, but anyway, so I'm got a few errands to run. I actually got a dress taken in and like done all up for uh, the birthday weekend and left it at the same dress. So I need to go pick that up. I actually have to get some of my jewelry switched out because um, when I went to the piercer or a new piercer, um, I actually just went to ask her to change them out for me for vacation. But she was saying that the quality of the original jewelry I had wasn't good and the quality of the new jewelry that I got wasn't good either. She was like, so just be careful. So I was like, when I get back from vacation, I'm going to have her take out what I have um, and put in the better quality jewelry, which is fine because it's it's not super expensive. But in general, just with body piercings, as you guys know, I have like 11. I don't know. I have a lot. I have a lot. I have, I have a lot. <laughs> um, but with body piercings in general, like one of the most important things is the quality of the jewelry that will determine you know how well it heals and I just about have almost all 14 to 18 karat gold and everything but I still need to like replace some of the ones that are not like 14 karat gold I'm working my way up but y'all it's, <laughs> it's expensive um but since my skin is expensive I can't wear like fake stuff or cheap stuff I just I don't even I don't even try it so I'm gonna go and get those switched out I actually have a jewelry that I bought from a place that was supposed to be 14 karat gold, but baby, the way it looks, she going back. So I'm going to make a quick run to the mall really quick. I'm going to get my jewelry switched out at the piercer. Um, I need to go to Sephora. I want to try that new K. Ali vanilla perfume, even though I've already got a vanilla. I just got the, um, I'm working with Dossier on a project and they sent me the dupe for the Killing Me Softly or Loving Me Softly by Killian, which is also kind of sweet, but I don't know why I'm just like feeling sweet stuff. It may be because I have so many like stronger masculine scents, like I end up mixing them together. But anyway, I'm going to go try those out. Just run a few errands. So I'm going to take you guys with me. That's what we're about to do. So I'm going to take this little kiddo to the patty. You guys look how <laughs> look how big he is. Hi, Boogie. Look how big you are, Dookie. Look how big you are. Look at the face. to seasons 52 our reservation is super late like 8 30 but that's hey. the only time we could find we're mix matching you guys because i have on like all black dark colors tonight and brandon has on like whites and light grays which is normally like my aesthetic but he looks really cute in this shirt that he got from where'd you get your shirt from i will never tell mine i think he got I'm it from sorry. boohoo but it's really cute put over here for this boomerang <sighs> oh this is terrible lighting Okay. Is it really? Oh, and it's a terrible angle. Okay. I guess My lighting terrible? Um, Brandon's parents are out here somewhere, so we're, they're going to arrive with us. And, oh, shoot. Lighting's so bad. We're going to get turning up. Okay. Um, and then we're on our way to season 52. We're going to meet my in-laws there, Brandon's um, brother and my sister-in-law. 
this little blazer is from Zara. My bag is from Coach. This is the mini, I think, Madison, which I really like this bag. I don't wear it enough. And then the boots you guys saw me purchase today, these are by Gianni Beanie. They're thigh highs with like a little, um, they got they have elastic on the back and um, they've got like a little heel, but they're so cute. As soon as I put them on, Brandon was like, ooh. He really liked him. And then I just threw like this bodycon dress on under this, but I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my blazer like closed anyway because I want it to kind of look like I'm just wearing the blazer, so I'm gonna wear it short. So I've just got the little body con. That's yours, honey. Okay. Um just to be like up under here covering things. But got a little thigh out. I'm trying to be a little sexy. I couldn't decide what to do with my hair, so I just did a bun. And then I'm wearing my sister-in-law's brand pink lips tonight. I try to wear it whenever I'm with her because we normally take pictures. She's normally wearing her brand so she can post it. I'm wearing um, high profile brown lip liner and sand matte lipstick. And whatever else I put on my face earlier when I talked to you guys today, so. to Dillard's, Macy's, Nordstrom's, all those places to find some spank leavens, but couldn't find any, so I'll just wait on the ones that I ordered, but I did realize that I don't know about the sizing. It's like they did make them for curves because it'll fit my thighs, but my waist is not tight enough, so we'll see, but I did get my Amazon packages, so I figured I'd unbox them with you guys. It is literally 60 degrees outside, 60. It was snowing, you guys. Snowing. Snowing when we got back three days ago. And seven degrees. And now it's 60. It's Kansas for you. So, let me see. Oh, okay. I forgot. I did tell you guys. I'm sorry. I did buy a box of tonic water. Basically, my whole refrigerator is tonic water right now. Don't judge me. It's just replacing my sparkling water at the moment, but this is a thing of 12 cans, which I like a little better than glass, but anyway, got that. Mind you, I just bought like four boxes yesterday. <laughs> it's gonna be gone in a week, I guarantee you. Um, and then these are the outfits that I bought from Amazon The Drop. Here's the black one. Okay, so they're just little halt. I'm glad I got a large. They're little halters. They're stretch halter tops. They're kind of cropped, but not really. I don't remember whose the drop line this was on. The drop, it doesn't say. But there are little halter tops that are like this really nice little fabric that is just like comfortable. Like you can throw this on with like a pair of jeans during the summer. I got it in black and in cream. Um, and then this is the dress from Style by Blake. It looks pretty cute. I think my friend got one, um, an outfit or two from their line. Let me see. I 
like this material. It's cream though. I'm a cream. Y'all know I'm a cream lover. Okay, so she's a little body suit or like a body con type thing. Across the chest, waist, and then you can the sleeves. I don't know if you guys can see the sleeve. Oh, and you can like crisscross them. Um, a friend of mine showed me like a million ways that you can cross these sleeves. So I'm excited to try this. A little big, but that's fine. I like it when it's comfortable, but it's like a bandeau dress type situation. It looks really good. The back has these little, I don't know if you guys can see them, but like little bows here. And you can do the straps however you want to. So you can do them like taking in, like I said. So here's what it looks like if I just wear it like normal. So, and then there's the little straps in the back. The little straps are cute. Side split. And the material is really, like, comfy. But, yeah, like I said, this is too, it's a little too big. But that's fine. I just get it, you know, get some darts put in that mug. And she be then perfectly. So, there we go. Uh, okay, guys. Um, I just had to go gargle because my throat... I don't know. I guess I'm like just shaking off all the travel bugs. Um, why did I was why was I walking around with my glasses on earlier today with the blue light sticker still on? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is beautiful outside. The spring is coming in, so um, my client just downloaded a few things. I'm just gonna see what she has available and put this together she went to nyfw so she's got a vlog from that so we're gonna put that together i wonder who she went with i'm like totally out of the loop since i was in mexico for all this but let's go ahead and open this up and see what we've got going on it's gonna do a little bit of work drink some more tonic water hope my throat calms down because it's just ugh. and then um probably chill once Brandon gets home because it's Sunday and it's you know time to like prep for tomorrow I'm probably gonna look into whatever I have going on for work tomorrow um just to like I was I spent a day or two flip over when I leave the room <laughs> Brandon always leaves these notes um I spent like a day or two just catching up on emails when I got back to work and we got a lot of transition going on so I just want to make sure that I'm like in the loop and getting things organized and you know making sure that everybody has everything that they need from me um, especially new people because I know how hard that is when you're like um, like especially in social media life just moves super fast like I just want to make sure that everybody's like feeling good and you know clients are feeling good and everybody's just feeling great so I'm just gonna get organized for tomorrow probably just a couple hours looks like Octavia B has a new vlog so I'm gonna watch that and that's it you guys I just wanted to give you like a little update on what's been happening I've been really crappy at doing these but vacation was great I feel like rejuvenated and I'm ready to like get back in the flow so they're coming <laughs> all these dogs gonna tear up my house are y'all really about to tear up my house? Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. Um, I just left bar. That was rough. Oh, no, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but you guys, I just haven't been at bar like normal so it's always a little tough i need to run some errands for groceries so i'm actually on my way to the grocery store um now brandon gave me my meal plan as my lighting really sucks right now hold please oh dark there we go that's better okay brandon gave me my meal plan for my health goals um so we're gonna do some intermittent fasting along with my everyday workouts um, we're gonna do some intermittent fasting along with my everyday workouts, but I start eating every day around 11 or 12 So I need to go pick up all the stuff and like meal prep and everything So I'm actually getting ready to run to the grocery store really quick 
bar was good I needed that little kick I still have on my workout clothes because at lunch today I'm going to um, do another workout specifically that's like core and back because every time I gain weight it's always there so I'm gonna try to hit these like two a days I'll see how I feel this week but I just need to get stuff organized so we're about to run to the grocery store really quick I actually have a meeting today a potential collaboration meeting with um, a content creating app basically they want me to create content for their website so it's not something that will go on like my Instagram or Facebook it's literally just me creating content and then they're putting it on their app which is really similar to some of the other stuff that I've done with other people so I have a meeting with them today um, around lunchtime to see if I'd be a good fit and to see if they're a good fit and we can like find a happy medium um, but I think it's gonna be fine which is great so that's a really awesome opportunity and a great way to start or end Black History Month because we are walking into March already oh my god um, but let me get to the grocery store because I really want to get this done really quick so I can get back and like get settled into work before nine o'clock. I'm really gonna try to so was $100 I spent $149 but all this stuff needed to be purchased I got yogurts eggs sour cream cheeses rices beans toppings pastas bell peppers more vegetables <laughs> ego blueberry <laughs> olives uh, how many egos did i buy wait a minute sis okay olives lots of condiments fruits um lots of vegetables yeah so my meal plan for the week is as such and i'm gonna share with hubby so it's gonna be gone in like two days Let's be honest um let me see okay so the way that hubby has it mapped out is like i'm gonna intermittent fast from nine o'clock p.m until 11 or 12 the next day depending on how i'm feeling i go to bar every day and then i do a workout at lunch after i eat lunch so like around one um like a quick 30 minute workout but here's the goal we're gonna do breakfast at 11 or 12 and breakfast is going to be some type of like bulky egg omelet. Um, and then my second meal is a snack or shake. So that can be fruit or it can be a fruit shake or it can be a juice. Um, but like something pretty minimal. My third meal is going to be my bulkiest meal. It's going to be a rice or pasta meal with a protein. Um, and then my fourth meal is going to be protein and green. So a uh Oh, that looks good. Like a grilled fish, like a grilled fish and a salad or a steak and a salad, like a steak and salad. But basically the goal is to keep my calories low. So in all of this that I am creating, I have to stay at a certain amount of calories. So basically what I'm going to do is put all these meals together and get an idea of how many calories it's going to be per meal that I've created so that I can like stick to regimen and I'm really going to try to eat the same thing for one to two weeks because trying to like put an entire meal regimen together knowing exactly how many calories you're taking in and then turning around and like redoing it is like defeating the process but also um I like change and I'm not going to be able to eat the same thing every day so I'm gonna have to switch this up at least every two weeks but I'm gonna try to hold this out for two weeks we'll see how it goes so the meals that I had thought about making 
where I told you guys the egg omelet, I'm gonna do like a chipotle style bowl for my like bulky afternoon mold, like close to dinner, like evening, so like maybe like around five o'clock. So that's gonna be like um, rice, black beans, tomatoes, corn, um, maybe some avocado. I'm really trying to get avocado back in my diet, even though you guys know that I um, got really sick during the pandemic and I may be allergic, but I had a little bit of it in Mexico. So I'm just I'm trying to gradually see if I can do a little bit more. Um, but basically I'm gonna make like a little chipotle bowl. I'm either gonna do like chili lime shrimp or like a steak, a little bit of steak in there, but like that's gonna be my bulky meal. And then for my salad, it'll either just be like a regular fresh green salad or I'll do like a kale salad or something like that. It's 12 14 I'm about to hop on this call with this brand hopefully it goes well if it does hey I got a you know little opportunity just had to lay my edges down real quick um I got some meal prep stuff done it's only noon so I'm doing great um and I've been like catching up on emails and stuff with work and all that jazz so I feel pretty productive um, I haven't had my second workout, but I'm going to go do that this afternoon. So I'm keeping this workout outfit on so that it reminds me that I'm not relaxing. I did have my first meal. I just made a, um, like an egg scramble, like a vegetable egg scramble with a little bit of stuff. And that is my sweet potatoes. Pause. Alexa, set an alarm for 10 minutes. Okay, looks like meeting starting now. Hello. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good, good. How are you doing today? Pretty good. It's a good. nice day in Kansas, surprisingly. What was that? I said it's a nice day in Kansas. Hi. All right, I'm glad to hear that, Jasmine. Thank you for joining me today. Sure. So my name is all right just finished that meeting it went good um i'm a little worried about the timelines for things as y'all know i'm so busy sorry i had a text message um they're like oh yeah we have a two-day turnaround so that kind of makes me a little like mm. um but for some of the content creation they wanted like in studio like turntable like really fancy stuff and like i was interested in the other three but not necessarily that one because for stuff like that i just get too picky and to like turn it around like this quick i'm just not really sure that's going to be good for my stress level but the other stuff sounds good. Um, they generally want like testimonial product shots, um, UGC type content, which is great and easy for me to do. So um, I actually need to submit some samples to them by Saturday. So I will do that. Um, oh gosh, you guys, my breakout still, ugh, still looks crazy. Um, so I'm going to do that. I need to get that done sometime this week, but it's not happening today because I'm busy. <laughs> So I'm going to get some work done. Um, I'll check back in with you guys when I go do my little second workout. <laughs> 